Looking to make your projects or costumes a little more electric? New technology makes it easier to add things like lights. Electroluminescent wire or EL wire is an option for your sewing projects. Typically starter kits have two parts, the wire and the inverter. These items can be purchased online and there'll be a link in the description for one option where you can purchase them. The EL wire comes in different colors and you can get a simple wire like this one or a sew-in version that looks like clear piping. If you're new to this and don't have much experience, look for starter kits where the wires have pre-made connectors already on them. The inverter uses two AA batteries. Connect the wire to an inverter with a click and it's ready to be turned on. Warning, the inverter converts two AA batteries to a high voltage AC. A risk of shock is possible. Only turn on the inverter when attached to at least one foot of EL wire. EL wire should not be submerged in water, so you should not put these projects in a washing machine. Consider this when deciding what you want to sew it to. If you do want to clean something with EL wire, make sure to disconnect it from the inverter and carefully spot wash and air dry the item. For my example, I'm going to be sewing the EL wire to something that is already made, in this case, a hoodie. If you want to make things simple, you can store the inverter in an existing pocket, especially if the wire is sewn to the outside of the garment. I'm stitching my wire on the inside of the garment, so I'm going to add a pocket to the wrong side. Out of similar fabric, I cut a piece that's four and a half inches by six inches. I make it bigger than the inverter to account for the height and to make sure it's not too snug. Your inverter size may vary. On all four sides, I turn the raw edges to the wrong side about a quarter of an inch. On both short sides, I hand sew a runny stitch or you can use a sewing machine to stitch in place. Pin the pocket to the inside near where the end of the connection will be. You'll be sewing on three sides of the pocket, but I leave a three quarter inch gap at the bottom to connect the inverter with the wire. I'll be hand slip stitching my pocket to the lining of my hoodie. Of course, you could just do a machine stitch going on the top of the pocket if you just wanna do something fast. Just realize you're gonna see an outline of your stitches or the outline of the pocket on the right side of the hoodie if you do something like that. I don't wanna see that, so that's why I'm doing the slip stitch. I already have my thread on a hand needle, and you're just gonna go back and forth between the two sides. So right now, because I already started, my thread is coming out of my lining, and then I'll grab a little bit of the edge of the pocket there and pull this through. Make sure it doesn't get caught on the teeth like that. And then now I'm on the edge of the pocket, grab a little bit of the lining. And I'm just grabbing my lining, being sure I'm not grabbing the outside part of the hoodie, so the fabric that's on the right side. And then just grab a little bit of the pocket edge. So I'm going back and forth between the two sides. And you'll wanna make your stitches more on the smaller side if you want your stitch to be strong. The smaller the stitch is, the stronger the stitch is going to be for keeping the pocket in place. I turn the corner and am now sewing at the bottom of the pocket. So I'm getting to where I have my gaps and my pins here. I would sew to the first pin, stop, tie a knot, and then start again at the second one. So there'd be no stitches between these two pins because I'm leaving a hole here. And this is so after I sew in my wire and then I put the inverter into the pocket, I can basically snake the wire through the hole and plug it into the inverter. Next, I'll be hand sewing the EL wire. For this, I'll need invisible thread, a hand needle, and scissors. I'm prepping to start sewing my wire to the inside of my hoodie. I'm just using the, these clips to help position everything. The two biggest things I'm trying to pay attention to is that I'm not having this wire exceed the bottom of my hoodie, because obviously that would be weird. So I'm starting this wire at a place where if I curve this, it's not gonna show. I also wanna have the end of my connector here of the wire able to go into my pocket so it can connect to the inverter. And also that your wire is not too close to the teeth of a zipper. This is so you don't have any problems moving the zipper tab up and down. Obviously, if it's too close or you have threads when you're sewing it get in the way, it could get caught, and then you're not gonna be able to unzip and zip your hoodie. I have my thread on a hand needle, and I'm using red all-purpose, just so you're able to see the stitches that I'm doing. Obviously, you wanna use the invisible thread, because once you have your stitches over your wire, 
you don't want to see your thread when it's lit up. So that's why you use the invisible as opposed to this, which might block some of the light. So I'm going to be doing a whip stitch and I'm starting down here at the bottom. I'm grabbing a little bit of my zipper tape going underneath my wire. And again, this is called a whip stitch. And then you just whip around. So I go over the top and I do the same exact thing. So I'm not going through the wire at all. I'm just going through the fabric underneath it. And you'll see your thread will just loop over the top. So now I'm going back over the top and grabbing a little bit of my fabric underneath. And again, you don't wanna pull your either your thread or your wire too close to the teeth. We wanna make sure that we're able to go up and down with the zipper tab. And I'm doing my stitches about, you know, one eighth to a quarter inch away. It doesn't have to be precise, but you can do whatever works best for you. So all you're doing is just putting your needle underneath the wire. And if you've never done it before, just take your time, but you'll get faster the more that you do it. And if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because it's invisible thread, so you're not gonna really notice anyways. And then when you get to the end, you just tie a knot. I can trim off extra wire when I get to the end by removing the protective cap, trimming, and then replacing the cap. You can use electrical tape if you do not have a cap. Do not trim with the wire connected to the inverter. I sewed mine to the inside so I can zip up the hoodie and only have the light shown inside the hood. Or I can unzip and see more of the wire. Or you can always sew the EO wire on the outside, you just have to create a place for the inverter to be stored. If you want to use the EO wire that looks like piping, sandwich it between two layers of fabric right sides together. The flat edge of the piping lines up with the raw edge of the fabric. Stitch at the sewing machine, being careful to only stitch the flat plastic part and not the wire. When flipped to the right side of the fabric, your wire will be on the seam line. Please note, for both of these types of wires, if you want to stop and start in a different section, a second inverter will be required. If you know how to solder, you can add your own connection wires. The easiest thing to do is to buy another starter kit since everything is pre-wired. Once you finish sewing, you can add batteries and turn it on. The inverter makes a slight hum. The length of time the battery lasts may vary, so be sure to check the product page. But you'll definitely impress people with your new sparkle. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified of our new releases. Also check out ProfessorPinkCushion.com to view our complete library with well over 450 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can join our YouTube membership and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.